Ever since I was little, I've been watching these gorgeous girls on TV, in magazines, commercials, pictures, you name it. What did they all have in common? They were all skinny, shiny, full of makeup with glossy hair. I remember watching cartoons and Disney movies, wishing so much for me to look like them. Cause that's what society wants, right? It didn't help that my mom would always comment on how I needed to drag my shirt further down so that my ass wouldn't show as much and therefore not look so big. It also didn't help that my grandma told me how I should hold my stomach in so it wouldn't show. And don't forget the constant reminder from my dad on how I was bigger than him and how my ass was so big. No shit, dad. I'm a girl with hips and god forbid I don't look like you with a potato-like stomach with matches as legs. As I'm sitting here now, trying to write this down, I know deep down in my heart that all my family was trying to do was to help me. Cause in their mind I was not what society expected me to be and I'd be seen as some kind of freak of nature wandering the superficial planet we call Earth. They were worried for my health. But did they ever stop to think and worry about my mental health? There's a saying written by M. Genis that goes like this. What you think about me, how you treat me, how you look at me, what you do to me, that's how I become. I live by this when I work with kids. We as grown-ups are role models. What we say, do, and act is what the kids learn to do and think about themselves and others. Anyway, sidetracking. So there I was, a 15-year-old girl, wearing baggy clothes, not showing anything more than what I absolutely had to. God forbid anyone should have to look at my fat. After all, society tells us we're disgusting. Living in a world that no matter what you do as a fat person, you're still an outcast, a freak. Where your classmates ask you sarcastically why you were wearing so much clothes. It is summer after all. But when you do find the courage to take off all those layers, you're laughed and pointed at. Don't lay too close to the water. Greenpeace might think you're a stranded whale they need to rescue. Well, you know what? As a 24-year-old woman, I am now here to say, fuck you. Fuck your standards of beauty and fuck your view on me. I refuse to be a part of this side of society. I am creating my own. I am going to surround myself with the friends and family who support me no matter what. I am going to be a part of communities that has a positive impact on people and promote self-acceptance no matter what you may like to do, look like, or fuck. I'm going to be myself 100% and there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. Join me, unless you're an ignorant douchebag who wastes your time picking on others just because you're so fucking insecure about yourself. Grow up and smell the fresh air, son. Fuck hate.